Once you've signed up for a Hypernotes account, um, chances are there will be a blank notebook here. Maybe not. Um, you can go over to this plus sign here and click on that to create a new notebook if there's not one there for, uh, for you. And I think with the uh, free account you can get uh, two free notebooks. Also on this page, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see this uh, Hypernotes tutorial. It's just a set of notes in the Hypernotes format that show you uh, how to use the app. So if you want to go through this, you're welcome to do so, but not absolutely necessary. So there are some settings that you are likely to want to change in the notebook that you create. And to get there, first you open up the notebook. So I'm going to click on that. Then you have to go to these three lines up here. Click on those. Then you click on the book itself, on the notebook itself. And then it should open with the uh, settings open here. And I'll go through these, some of these uh, rather quickly. Um, if you want to change the icon that is on your notebook, you may do so. If you want more options than are, what are there, you can choose from these. You can load more. You can just keep on loading them. You can waste uh, probably too much of your lifetime selecting just the right icon. I'm using a tree since my name is Forrest. Um, it looks like you could upload your own uh, photo, maybe of Drake. And it looks like here that you could upload a file to serve as a photo of your own. You can also do a drawing. That is definitely not something I'm going to bother doing right now. Okay. Uh, you can change the background color. So the background color is this one. Uh, you can change the title color. You can change uh, the title background color so you can customize the appearance of your notebook, uh, all of which is completely useless for our purposes. Um, but one thing I want you to make sure you do is where it says public here, toggle that on. Um, this way you will be able to share uh, parts of your notebook with me. And then scroll down here. I have also published tasks toggled off. I think that's the, the default setting. Export as JSON. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about printing. Uh, I might be asking you to export your the contents of your Hypernotes notebook uh, every once in a while just so that if something were to go wrong, you'd have a backup of your data. Um, and then a few more settings I want you to make sure. Go ahead and toggle on diary. You may or may not want to use this particular feature. Uh, toggle off tasks and toggle on graph. And I recommend toggling off the numbering. Um, I think the default setting is for this to be on and every new page you create a number is, a, is, is assigned to it. And I don't think we want that. Uh, it looks like you can have the option of duplicating your notebook. Don't worry about that. Uh, keep in mind that archive is where your notes are going to go when you want to trash them. Um, so those notes don't automatically get completely disappeared. They will first go into the archive here. And then you could click uh, if you're in searching for some note that you thought you had but apparently accidentally deleted. <laughs>